Hi guys, it's Kino. Welcome to another video. So today's pick a card is going to be messages and predictions for the month of August 2021. We're going to start with a general overview of your month and then we will take a look at the specific areas of love and relationships, career and studies, and spiritual and personal growth. So there are three readings for you guys to choose from today. I'm going to show you each of the crystals one by one and then please pick whichever one you feel drawn to the most. Number one is Azurite. Number two is Fluorite. And number three is Honey Calcite. Okay, so as always, take all the time you need to pick. You can pause the video if you need to. I'm gonna go ahead and get started with number one. Hi number ones, so if you guys chose the Azurite, this is going to be a reading all about your month of August 2021. So we're going to start off this reading with this oracle card which will tell us about the main theme or the overall energy of your month of August. And the first card that we have for you is Creative Project and the message for you is your soul longs to express itself in creative ways. We're guiding you to infuse artistry and creativity into your life. Creative expression makes you feel alive and excited and reignites passion toward your life. Yay! So for those of you who are creative people, if you are musicians, if you are writers, if you're dancers, if you're visual artists, August could be a month where you guys are feeling really inspired to practice your craft, to get projects done, and to be sharing your gifts with the world. Um, for those of you who are working towards these things as a career, this could be a very abundant month for you in your career where people are really noticing your talents and your hard work is really paying off um, but this can definitely be just encouraging you guys to be creative as a hobby um, it looks like your angels are trying to tell you here that this is going to be a really wonderful source of joy for you it can also be a really great way to relieve stress so even if it's not something you're pursuing as a career or even if you haven't really seen yourself as an artist or a creative person before i think your angels are encouraging you to give it a try this this month maybe get back to something that you used to do or pick up a new creative hobby maybe learn how to draw or learn how to play an instrument they're saying it's going to be really really enjoyable for you and i like this image how the angels are guiding her as she plays the instrument for those of you who do create like it's something that you're already in the habit of doing something you already enjoy it seems like your angels might be channeling ideas to you so if you're making um what would you call it a body of work or if you're making a work of art you may get some ideas that are divinely channeled and you're like whoa where did that come from that's pretty cool and your angels are encouraging you to put it out there and share it with the world I'm also thinking, and maybe this is a bit of a broader interpretation, but if you are practicing manifestation, you can think of your life itself as a creative project. You can think of your own life as a work of art. And this is what your angels are encouraging you to do this month. Look at your life and look at what you're doing as your own personal masterpiece that you can paint it any color you want you can express whatever you want remember this month that you are free to write the story of your life however you want and to interpret it however you want as well the same way that anybody has the right to look at a work of art and put their own meaning and their own interpretation to it, you have the ability to do this with your own life. You have the ability to create your own narrative for what has happened in your life and who you are and where you're going. And when you tell that story, when you create that narrative, make sure that it's one that is benefiting you, that is serving you, and that is making you happy. So whether it's artistic creativity or like your role as a divine creator, to create your desired reality, your angels really want you to remember the enjoyment in that. And that's another point I wanna make is that this month might be about 
bringing back the enjoyment rather than worrying about how good you are at it. Um, they're actually straight up saying you don't have to be good at it, just enjoy yourself. So maybe that's for those of you who are like curious to try your hand at something, but you're worried that you're not going to be good at it, or you're worried about sharing your work. Your angels are saying, just go for it, put it out there. The most important thing is that you are having fun. And if you are constantly worrying about like how much progress you've made, if you're really improving or what that person over there is doing, it's going to take your joy away. And this is all about enjoyment and pleasure and passion. Okay, so that's the first message for you guys for the overall theme of the month. And now we're going to get into the tea leaf oracle cards, which could show us specific events in this month that you should be looking forward to or things to look out for. So the first card that we have is I with psychic ability, trust your intuition. It's kind of interesting because with the previous card we were talking about, maybe you guys are starting to channel and while before we were talking about you guys channeling with your creativity you may actually be channeling messages in other areas of your life i feel like your antenna is <laughs> your spiritual antenna is like what would you call it pricked up in this month of august and you're going to be picking up on signals from everywhere and this card is here so that you guys remember to trust that your intuition is correct I think the universe is going to be giving you a lot of confirmation this month that things that you have been intuitively feeling are accurate and you will be using your intuition this month to make some important decisions about your future path. The next card that we have is time to get out of a situation. Interesting. So maybe these two go together and you guys have been intuitively feeling that it's time for a certain cycle in your life to come to an end, that it is time for you to move on, walk away from something. When I think of getting out of something, I think of something that has kind of weighed us down or made us stressed or frustrated. So maybe there's been a situation in your life that's been stifling you, stifling your creativity or just draining your energy, not, for, not fulfilling you and it's time for you to get out of it. If there's a situation like that for you guys that this is ringing a bell, your intuition is correct and I do feel that getting out of this situation will really make you feel liberated and make you feel happy. And the final card that we have is plenty of material things. We love to see that. This is going to be a great month for abundance for you guys and I think I was picking up a little bit on that with this card. Especially for those of you who are creative, you could be generating material wealth from the things that you create. but. This message is definitely for all of you across the board, no matter what your career is, no matter what your hobbies are, you are going to be blessed with material things. My Leo August babies, you will be celebrated this month. <laughs> if it's your birthday coming up, you will be very, very generously gifted. And I know that my Leo babies will love that. <laughs> um, oh, and I also want to say, if I put these together, because I like to, you know, put all of these messages together in as many ways as I can. Um, for those of you who have been feeling like it's time to get out of a situation, but you're worried that you won't be supported or you won't have the resources to do it, this card could be saying, don't worry, you'll have enough. You will be supported. Like, for example, if you were thinking of walking away from a career and you're worried that you're not going to have enough money or that you're going to run out of money or something like that or you know switching over to something you're passionate about and you're not worried it's going to generate enough this could be your confirmation like it's going to be okay follow your intuition follow your heart and get out get out of the situation that is not fulfilling you all right so this concludes the general overview part of your August 2021 reading. So now we're going to move on to the specific areas of your life. And so as you can see here, I have um, one tarot card and one oracle card each for the specific areas of love and relationships, career and studies, and spiritual and personal growth. So we're going to start off with the love and relationships section and see what messages there are for you for the month of August. So for your tarot card, we have the Six of Swords, 
And for your oracle card, we have truth. All right, so starting with our tarot card, the Six of Swords, first off, for those of you who are single and you don't have anybody in mind yet or you haven't met your person yet, this could be indicating that in the month of August, you will enter into the talking stage with somebody, meaning that you met someone new, you're getting to know them, and you're talking very, very frequently. The Six of Swords makes me think of smooth communi communication, <laughs> there it is, smooth communication and things being easy between you and the person that you're dealing with. So for those of you who are shy or you feel kind of nervous or uncomfortable when you're meeting new people, you are going to meet somebody who just instantly makes you feel comfortable. It's like they really get you, they get the way you think, and you guys get on very seamlessly. Um, and you will be in very frequent communication. That's what I'm thinking. For those of you who are single but you do have somebody in mind, somebody that you're talking to, this could indicate that you guys are going to have a heart to heart. The Six of Swords does make me think of heart to heart sometimes, but especially with this truth oracle card that is coming out and we can see this person is holding her heart, she has her third eye open. Um, it's like the truths of your heart. I guess I could interpret it like that. The truths of your heart are coming out. So if you have a person of interest already, you might be having that conversation about your truest feelings or especially if there's been any sort of blockage or things have felt off in your connection. Um, you could both be opening up about that and getting to the bottom of things. Um, but with this truth card, I do want you guys to know that whoever you're dealing with this month does have good intentions. They're not trying to deceive you. They're not trying to play you. You are going to be in good hands with honest and open people this month. Um, specific message for those of you who are in a long distance relationship, you could be meeting your person in August, like getting to meet them in person, or for those of you who have been talking to somebody online or in some kind of, you know, online or dating app relationship, something like that, you could be finally getting to meet them in person in the month of August. Now, for those of you who are in a relationship, in a committed relationship, there could also be that heart-to-heart -heart message that applies to you guys. So you're opening up more, your communication is improving, you're getting to see the truth of each other's heart. Um, you could be going on a trip together because the Six of Swords can also indicate travel. So like you and your partner are going on a little vacation together or something like that. There is also a message in the Six of Swords of moving in together. So maybe that is more of a specific message for those of you who are at that stage. Um, but that is a meaning of this card. So if that resonates, uh, feel free to claim that message of you and your partner moving in together. Um, Oh, and I do also, I want to make this part not just about romantic relationships. There could also be a message here for you guys who have plans to move that you will have a great relationship with your roommates or you'll have a great relationship with your neighbors, the people who live around you, you will be getting along very, very well with them. That could be a message for those of you regarding platonic relationships. Um, but this is a wonderful energy overall. This is an energy of opening up, getting to know the people around you better, getting along with people, um, resolving any conflict that you might have, and very honest and truthful communication all around. So I really do like this energy. Um, okay, let's move on now to your career and studies. So for your tarot card, we have Serenity. In the traditional tarot, this would be the Hermit. And we have birth. All right, so with this serenity card, maybe some of you guys are taking some time off of work. If I think about, there was a message of like travel or vacation or something like that in the love and relationship section of your reading. And that's kind of carrying on over here because in the serenity card, I see somebody who is relaxing and taking some time to breathe out. So maybe many of you guys are getting some significant time off in the month of August. Um, this may be really, really specific, maybe for like one or two of you watching, but I'm looking at serenity and birth together. Maybe some of you guys are taking like a maternity leave or a paternity leave or something like that. Um, if I think of birth literally, like there has been a birth and so you're taking time off work because of that. Um, 
I really think that's just for a couple of you, but I wanted to point that out. Um, but in a broader sense, this card has to do with taking time to soul search, taking time to reflect. If there's something that's been bothering us or something has felt off, this card indicates looking within and finding the root of the problem and figuring out what needs to change. And I'm sort of being drawn back to this pale card, the time to get out of a situation. And I'm wondering if for many of you, it does have to do with your current job or with your current um, field of study if you are a student. Maybe something is feeling off, but you're not really sure what exactly it is. Maybe you've had a feeling of like, I don't necessarily like what I'm doing right now, but I also don't necessarily know what I would rather be doing, what I would rather move on to. And I do think in the month of August, you guys are going to be thinking a lot about the path that you're headed down um, in your career or in your studies and maybe questioning if it's what you really want to do. Um, and if it's not, what would you rather be doing? What, what would be in the best alignment with your natural gifts and with your natural personality? Um, it's interesting too, because this is Virgo energy and Virgo season will be... Um, starting at the end of August, but Virgo season also carries on into September and I often think of this card as September because it does have the number nine on it So I do think that this is not necessarily time sensitive to the month of August Maybe it's the month where you start Thinking about what you want to do from here on out and maybe some of you guys will be making changes leaving something behind in August, but um, I think I want to tell you guys that this time to get out of a situation your guides are not saying like this has to happen in August or even that it should happen in August. It, it should happen whenever you feel ready. And I think the fact that this is showing up is like you could do it in September or you could do it in October. Um, your guides will wait for you, wait for you until you feel ready. But you might start doing that reflection in this month of August. And with this birth card as well, um, I do feel like a lot of you guys are ready to do something new. The number nine on this card it's like you're at the end of a cycle. It's the last of the single digit numbers and it represents this point where you've almost completed what you set out to do here and it's time to level up. It's time to do something new, more challenging, more fulfilling, more in alignment. Um, when you, as you go along the journey of self-discovery and you start to get a better idea of who you are, you should be adapting on the outside too. Now that I know better that I don't like this, I should remove this. And now that I understand better that I do well in this environment, I should move towards this environment. So as you discover yourself more and more and more, you should make changes to accommodate the new version of yourself that you've discovered and to make them comfortable and to fulfill them. You don't have to put yourself through a situation that you don't like. And you can always change things. This Virgo energy, Virgo is a mutable sign. so. You can always change your mind, you can always change your path, and it's never too late. But you guys have potential to give birth to something new. And it's so cool that there's an eye on this cloud because... <laughs> well, okay. Um, you guys can see the eye. Um, this eye is making me think of your intuition, of your psychic ability, and this serenity or hermit card as well. It is a very spiritual card. So if you guys have intuitively felt like something's not really right, it's time to get out of something, it's time to start something new. Um, take this as a confirmation that yes, your soul is ready. Your soul is ready to create something new. Your soul is ready to change paths. All right, so finally, we're gonna take a look at the cards that represent your spiritual and personal growth. <clears throat> Sorry, I feel like my voice is getting kind of scratchy. I'm gonna drink some water. Is that better? Maybe. Um, <laughs> all right, so for spiritual and personal growth for your tarot card, we have the Hierophant. This is Taurus energy in case that is relevant to any of you guys. And then we have Endurance. All right, so um, first of all, the Hierophant can represent a teacher or a mentor or something like that. So in terms of your personal growth, there could be a message here that in the month of August, you guys are deciding to take some kind of lessons or receive some kind of tutoring. Um, for example, like 
you've really wanted to learn how to do something, you've really wanted to get more help with a skill that you've been working on by yourself, maybe it's something creative, um, or it doesn't have to be, it could be like a language, it could be a business course that you've been wanting to take, um, it could be freaking woodworking lessons, <laughs> something that you've been wanting to learn, maybe August is a month where you're finally like, you know what, I'm gonna go for it, I'm gonna get the professional formal training and learn this thing that I've been wanting to learn. This could also be about um, therapy or counseling of that sort. Maybe you're even going to a counselor to see like what other options are available for you in terms of your studies or in terms of your career. There may be a mentor that you're seeking out here to help with your personal growth. Um, but in addition to that message, this card does talk about an alignment with our spirituality and an alignment with our higher self and especially because you guys have the hermit and the hierophant i really really think that august is a month for you guys of getting in touch with your higher self like coming back to yourself and getting to know yourself better and the hierophant is also it has a message of commitment in it and i do feel like this month you guys are committing to yourselves you're getting to know yourself and then you're saying to yourself, I see you, I, I see what you want to do, I see what you're capable of, I see what your potential is, and it's like you're making a promise to yourself to commit to that. I promise to do everything I can to make the life of your dreams. Or I promise to do everything I can so that you can see your full potential and you can see what your life could be. This is really sweet. It's kind of making me emotional. You're making a promise to yourself, you're committing to yourself, and you are committing to your dreams. With this endurance, I think that maybe you guys are starting to make more plans for your long-term future. Um, the Hierophant, to me, well, no, not to me. <laughs> it has a message of structure, and with that Taurus energy coming through, there is a message as well of like, patience and perseverance and consistency and i think that goes really well with endurance um i feel like you guys might be creating like a long-term timeline of where you see your life going with these new discoveries you've made about yourself and yes it's going to take endurance it's going to take patience it's going to take discipline but you're going to commit to it because this is all about commitment and yeah, promising yourself that you'll do whatever you can to bring this future. So this is a really, really nice message. Um, just before we finish off the reading, there are a few extra oracle cards that I wanted to close off with. And these are going to be messages from your higher self. This is the Soul Whispers Oracle deck, and this is the Fallback Oracle deck. I will have everything linked in the description, but I just got these decks recently. This one was actually gifted to me, and I, I really love them, so I wanted to share these at the end as messages from your higher self. So the first one is, everyone in your life is teaching you something. Are you learning? You could be having some really eye-opening conversations. I do feel like the channels of communication are opening up to you with your person of interest, with your partner, with your friends. Um, pay attention to what they're saying. They could be dropping some bombs of wisdom on you and even help in your self-discovery journey. Um, it's also interesting that we have the Hierophant here, which is like the teacher or the mentor. So someone might be teaching you a very important lesson in the month of August here. We have return to self. This fits so well. This fits so well with what we were talking about before. Come home to you. Give to yourself. Be your own first priority. It's time to fall in love with you. Exactly. Exactly. You guys are committing to yourself. And next, shift your focus off the problems to see the solutions. You have all you need. This message of you have all you need, it reminds me of this bowl with the message of plenty of material things. You guys will get the resources that you need to make your dreams come true in this month of August. And also with this message of shift your focus off the problems to see the solutions, this is like what we were talking about right at the start with you guys having the power to Turn your life into your own personal work of art and your own story. And you get to choose how you interpret this story. 
So your perspective is really, really important. You could see, you know, if you're feeling like something is not working in your life, you could see it as a failure, you could see it as a defeat, or you could see it as a beautiful opportunity to start a new adventure. Your perspective is so crucial during this time. All right, so these are all the messages that I have for you guys. I'm gonna end the reading here. Um, oh no, I, I have to show you guys the number 25 <laughs> they're saying. Um, the number, is it focusing? Anyway, this card is the number 25 and the number 25 or seven could be important to you guys. Um, this could be a number that you see so your higher self can let you know that you're on the right path, okay? Um, but yes, done for real now. That's all the messages I have for you. So I hope you have a wonderful day or night whenever you're watching. Please take good care of yourself, stay healthy. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe if you feel like doing that. I also have a Patreon, so if you guys are interested in seeing even more exclusive pick a cards where you get to choose the topic, that will be linked down below too. I'm sending you guys lots of love and I will see you in the next one. Bye-bye. Hi number twos, so if you guys chose the fluorite, this is going to be your reading all about your August 2021. So I'm going to start off the reading with this oracle card and this is going to tell us the main theme or the general energy for your month of August. So the first card that we have for you guys is focus on service and the message for you is your soul desires only to joyfully serve and to swim in a constant stream of bliss. This stream continuously feeds you everything you need. Put your entire focus upon staying in this stream of giving and receiving in every situation and in all that you do. So it looks like in the month of August, you guys will be finding a lot of joy in helping others. And this can be on a personal level, like helping out your friends and your family. It could be at work. You're having some really great energy exchanges at work. Some of you guys this month, you may be even finding what it is that allows you to make the biggest difference in the world. So almost like you're finding your calling where there's this perfect marriage between something that you love to do and something that would really help and make a positive difference for others and I feel like that's going to be such a beautiful feeling when you guys find that or I'm also hearing that some of you guys may be starting a new job or starting a new program of study that is really going to fulfill you because you can just see like how much you're going to be able to make a difference in your community. I just got an image of like some of you guys are starting a new school year soon or like you're just starting a new job. Maybe you just got the news and spirit is like really, really excited for you because they can see how much you're going to love it, how it's going to be such an amazing fit for you. And the exchanges that you have between people of you helping them out and then them showing their appreciation to you and helping you out. It's going to be like a really, really nice flow of energy that you guys have. I feel that you're going to be surrounded by very kind and appreciative people in the month of August. People who truly value you, truly value what you do and truly get you, especially for those of you, like if your area of work is a little bit unusual or off the beaten path, you will be surrounded by people who really, really appreciate it. I'm also getting a message for those of you who, um, leading up to this reading, you've been really going the extra mile, um, whether that's at work, like filling in for others, or you've been really helpful towards um, the people in your life, in your personal relationships. Um, you could be receiving some sort of, how would you call it? Like they're paying it back to you, or they're paying... They're returning you the favor of your kindness. Basically, what I want to say is that your efforts to help people will be paying off in the month of August. I don't know why that sentence was so hard for me to say, but <laughs> there it is. That is what I wanted to say. Um, it could also be a message here about you guys doing volunteer work or some sort of charity work as well. And finally, what I want to say about this card is for those of you who are still maybe in the process of figuring out what it is that you want to do for a job, what kind of things you want to pursue, Spirit is encouraging you guys to look at things that you already have, like knowledge that you already have, passions and interests that you already have, and see if you can find a way 
to use these to help others. And it may not be so obvious at first, but spirit is sort of implying that there is something you can use that's already in your arsenal. <laughs> I don't know if that's the right word, but something you already like to do or something you're already good at that if you apply it in a certain way, it could actually help a lot of people. So maybe it's something, some knowledge that you have or some skill you have and you could actually teach it to other people or you could use that skill to make their life better or you could use um, something that you're good at to entertain others or to brighten their day. Um, Spirit is saying you already have the tools to make a really positive impact and with a little bit of reflection, you'll figure out how to use what you have um, for good and for something that you really enjoy. So let's move on now to your tea leaf oracle cards and these are going to show us specific events of the month, things to look forward to or things to look out for. So first we have kangaroo with the message of unsettled times need to plan ahead. We have the yoke. I don't actually know what a yoke is, but the message is feeling tied down or frustrated. And then we have chain, chain of events that will affect your life. So when I put all of these together, what I'm kind of feeling is that maybe you guys are in a little bit of a frustrating situation in the month of August, or you have been up until now, where you want to go ahead and get started with a new chapter. You want to go ahead and start moving towards your future but you feel like there's something that is holding you back, whether it's a lack of motivation or a lack of resources or other things just keep popping up in your life that you have to deal with first. And it's like, you can't get to what you really want to do. I feel like maybe you guys are stuck in a rut or you feel trapped in some way. But with this chain card, this is saying that there's already a divine plan in place for you to get to where you need to be. So this might be a time where you just need to keep going and have faith that everything is going to work out. Even if you can't see this whole chain, Spirit is saying that the things you're doing right now and the situations you're facing right now, they are leading you to where you want to be. It just may not be that obvious. So faith is really important. And now that I think about it, actually, going back to this focus on service card, there was a lot of emphasis on you guys um, helping other people. And there's even a message in this card about giving and receiving. So when you get into this stream of helping, serving and giving to others, this card is letting you know that that's all going to come right back to you. So what I'm thinking is that maybe when you guys are in this situation, you're stuck in a rut, you can't move forward, somebody you have helped in the past might come forward and help you out. Because there is this emphasis about a fair energy exchange, about that beautiful balance between giving and receiving. If you guys are giving so much, it's only natural that you will receive at some point, that you will be blessed eventually for all of the wonderful work you have done. So. Maybe someone's coming forward in August to return this favor and get you out of a kind of sticky situation, help you make a plan, help to relieve some stress that you're feeling and really get your ball rolling so you can go to where you want to go. I do think that if you are in this kangaroo and yoke situation in the month of August, it's also going to be resolving itself in the month of August. So I know these can be a little bit unpleasant to see, but because we have the chain here that shows this is all part of the plan, this is all part of your path, everything's gonna work out. And we have this beautiful message of you guys receiving a blessing after giving of yourself. I think that everything is gonna turn out wonderfully for you guys. All right, so now we are going to move on to the more specific part of this reading. This was sort of like the general overview of your month. And now we are going to move on to the specific areas of love and relationships, career and studies, and spiritual and personal growth. So I have, as you can see, one tarot card and one oracle card for each of these specific life areas. So we're going to start off with your love and relationships and let's see what's happening for you in the month of August. So for your tarot card, we have the two of swords. And for your oracle card, we have healing. So starting off with the tarot card, the two of swords, you guys might know that this card can indicate 
like being stuck between two options or struggling to make a decision. But with the imagery on this deck, I'm just thinking that it looks a little bit more empowered than what we see in the Rider Waite deck, for example. In the traditional artwork, we would see somebody who is blindfolded and the swords are actually crossed over them. So there's more of a feeling of like, I'm stuck and I can't move. But here, it's like the person is wielding the swords. It almost looks like she has this like satisfied or powerful look on her face. There's also an emphasis on the heart with this big bright light here. So rather than, hmm, you may be reflecting on what decision to make, but I think the emphasis with this card is that it's really in your hands, it's really up to you and that you are going to make the right decision and that you're gonna make the decision that is best for you. This is about love and relationships. This can be romantic, this can be platonic, this can be professional relationships, any relationship in your life. And what I think you guys are going through in the month of August may be deciding which connections you want to keep nurturing and which connections are good for you and deciding which connections you need to either create some distance in or let go of completely and i do kind of get a feeling that this might be really across the board for you guys maybe for some of you there's like one specific person that you've been debating about maybe it's like a love interest or a friend or something like that where you've been thinking for some time that maybe you need to cut off this relationship and move on but then there's another part of you that feels stuck and feels like you want to hold on it could be a struggle about one specific person but for many of you, I am feeling this as like an overall, I'm taking stock of the relationships that exist in my life and how these connections make me feel and I'm making the, um, the determination if this is a connection that I want to continue investing in, if this is a connection that is healthy for me um, or if I need to walk away. And what is going to help you make these decisions is healing. So. Maybe this is something you guys have already been doing, but I'm getting the feeling from this of, for example, healing feelings of unworthiness, healing troubles with receiving, healing troubles with loneliness, um, and really repairing your heart, as we can see here. I'm not sure if these are flower petals that are falling because there are flowers here, or these could be um, like teardrops. So you guys may have some emotional moments in the month of August where you are purging energy from a painful memory, where you're getting to the root of a blockage in your relationships and it's this kind of emotional release that you guys are having. But the way the tears are like pouring over the broken heart, I think letting that emotion out is what is really going to heal you guys. And once you are healed, the answers will be clear to you. You'll be able to objectively look at a connection and see if you are holding on to this because you truly care for this person and they're truly good for you or if you are holding on to them because of an unhealthy attachment or because of an insecurity or some void that they filled. So you're kind of getting real about the connections in your life and saying like who you want to keep around and who you don't. And it sounds kind of harsh when I'm saying it like that. And you might in fact feel harsh when you're you know, objectively assessing your connections, but I think this is gonna be really good for your mental health. This is almost giving me like queen of swords energy because she's holding the sword, she sees the truth, she's protecting her heart and she's in a place of empowerment. I can also, see an image of you guys like maybe going through your phone and deleting some contacts or unfollowing some people if you guys use any like relationship apps like dating apps or something like that maybe you're deleting a bunch of your conversations in that app or maybe you're deleting it entirely you're going through like an energetic cleanse with your connections and this is going to help you to value the connections that you want around more you have more time and energy to give to the people who really matter. And at the beginning of this reading, I did see that you guys are gonna be surrounded by very kind and loving people. And as you keep focusing on your calling, as you keep focusing on serving others, you'll be surrounded more and more with these beautiful, loving people who appreciate what you do. So this is really a month of mending 
any insecurities and unhealthy attachments like we talked about, and maybe keeping your social circle more small but more precious as well. Like the people who are still in your life will be that much more valuable to you. So I can see your close relationships getting even closer. And the ones that weren't that close, maybe they weren't that good for you, they're being left behind. I see like discernment in this card, basically. Um, so this is what I see for your love and relationships. Moving on now to your career and studies for your tarot card. Ooh, we have the queen of crystals. So in the traditional tarot, this would be the queen of pentacles, which you guys might know is a very, very, very good card for anything career and abundance related. And then for your oracle card, we have move on. And I love this explosion of stars and the star on the person's face. This is almost reminding me of like the star in tarot where you're moving on to a bright future. Um, okay, so let's look at this queen of crystals or queen of pentacles first. It looks like this is going to be a very successful month for you guys. So, ooh, that was a loud car. <laughs> um, or maybe it was a motorcycle. This actually confirms to me that whatever unsettling times you've been through or whatever is has been frustrating you or weighing you down, I really do think that this is going to be resolved in the month of August because you guys are embodying this queen energy. You're going to be on the top of your game in your career. You're going to be succeeding. You're going to be excelling and you're going to be making money. You're going to be making good money. Pentacles are, of course, coins. So you're literally like the queen of coins. Um, with this moving on card, you guys might be going through a graduation of sorts. Maybe you're graduating from school or you are graduating from a certain position in your job and you are moving on. Yes, but you're also moving up. This would be the month where you guys are getting the promotions, you're getting the raises, you're getting the bonuses, and you're also getting the appreciation for the work that you do. And I think that this is a month where you guys are going to start feeling like really an expert in your field. If you guys are currently um, not working and you are looking for a job, you are going to be finding something that you're a natural at this month. So even if it's like a new job or new field that you guys are going into, it's like you get right into it and it's like you've been doing it forever. <laughs> you guys are going to be really, really skilled at whatever it is that you are doing. This could also be a month where you are giving people advice who are on the same path as you, but they're a little bit farther behind because the Queen of Pentacles, she does have this caring and nurturing and generous and uplifting energy to her and because we do have this message of you guys helping people out you could be giving people advice this month people could be coming to you and saying like you're doing an amazing job you really inspire me i want to do something similar and then you're like giving them tips and sharing your know-how and things like that almost like you're a big sibling to people who want to do the same thing as you. Like that's the position that you're at now. You have a lot of authority and you have a good reputation in what you do. So you're in this position where people, um, where people are coming to you for help. Um, and then of course your financial situation is going to be amazing in the month of August. I'm wondering if some of you guys are maybe making travel plans because my eyes are drawn to these like the continents that we see here or like the land and water it's just making me think of the globe so maybe you guys are saving up some good money and then this month you can either go on a trip or you can start planning for your trip um even the way this queen is like looking out into the horizon and looking at the vast sky it's like she's thirsting for adventure that's kind of what it feels like to me um oh and with this move on message maybe you guys are like moving somewhere for work or you're moving somewhere for study or going on a business trip or something like this. Um, I'm getting the feeling that there's some exciting adventure for you in your work or studies, whether it's moving up positions, moving into a new field or literally like moving or traveling somewhere. But yes, to sum up this part, you guys are in for a very successful month. You're in for some good monetary rewards. Um, you're going to be feeling very confident and secure as well. 
Um, I don't know what the opposite is of imposter syndrome, but have you ever had that feeling like everybody thinks you're so good at what you do, but you don't really feel that? It's like you feel like you tricked them somehow because you're not really that good and they just don't see it. You feel like you don't know what you're doing at all. That's like imposter syndrome. You feel like you're an imposter in your field of work or, or people are complimenting you because they don't see the truth. I hope that was a good explanation, but I want to say that you guys are the opposite of that. <laughs> so it's like you have so much certainty that, yeah, I'm good at this and this is what I'm meant to be doing. And that feels so freaking good. So when people compliment you on what you're doing, you're like, thank you. But also, I know, <laughs> I know I'm good at this. And that's going to feel really, really good for you guys. Um, all right. So finally, we're going to move on to the spiritual and personal growth part of this reading so for your tarot card we have the three of wands interestingly this is another card that i often associate with travel so maybe that is a message for many of you and then oh we have love i actually really like these cards together the three of wands is a card of waiting for our blessings to come in we see this person standing on the cliff and they're waiting for like waiting for the ships to come in so to speak waiting for their rewards to come in and so what is coming in for you guys is love this is even more confirmation that you guys are going to be very appreciated and supported this month it reminds me of what we talked about here as well with your existing healthy relationships getting even closer even more loving even more healthy and also new people coming into your life as you start sharing your gifts with the world as you start putting your heart and soul into the work that you do you're going to attract more loving admirers into your life and this is what i see here perhaps this is a month where you guys are really finally seeing how freaking amazing you are and finally seeing your worth it all kind of ties in because we saw that with the queen of pentacles as well that you guys are like heck yeah <laughs> heck yeah i'm confident and i'm good at what i do and i deserve all of these blessings it's like you can receive without feeling guilty or you can receive without feeling undeserving and just say thank you just say thank you to the universe and say thank you to the people who are helping you and praising you and uplifting you and then give back to them in return in this like endless blissful cycle this is a place that you guys are coming to so no more one-sided connections no more giving and giving and receiving nothing in, in return no more receiving and feeling bad for it you deserve to give from your heart and you deserve to receive from your heart um also in an additional interpretation of the three of wands this can also be like going big or going out of your comfort zone. I often interpret it like this. And when it comes to love, I think of the three of wands as like making that big move to profess your love. So this could be a month where you guys are making a love confession. And maybe at the time that you're watching this reading, that might sound scary. And my camera timer just said two, 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 two. <laughs> um, it might sound scary now, but because in the month of August, you guys are gaining so much confidence and you're gaining so much clarity on who you really love and who you really want in your life. I feel like by the time August rolls around, you will actually feel very confident and happy and excited to express your love. It could be like um, a love interest, like a romantic interest that you guys have had your eye on. It could be expressing your love to your friends expressing your love to your family but i feel like you guys will be just boiling over with love like you know bubbling over that you do some kind of grand gesture to show your love for the people in your life and it's just going to make you feel so good it's going to make your heart feel so full this part of the reading is saying if you've been wanting to tell someone you love them tell them doesn't matter if it's romantic or platonic or family or whatever it is it doesn't even have to be a person if there is some activity that you love doing, do it and be proud of it and show the world that you love it. If there's a place that you love, go there, be in that place, experience it. Go big and go out there to show your love to the world and express your love. Your love is not meant to be hidden and bottled up in your heart. It's meant to 
explode out into the world around you so that everybody can see it and feel it and it will inspire them to express their love too. I feel like this is a month of a lot of bliss and fulfillment for you guys. Um, and any problems that you're facing, you have so many loved ones around you that I'm sure they're just going to run into your aid the same way that you have helped them. All right, so just before we finish off the reading, I wanted to close it off with some messages from your higher self. So for this part, I'm going to be using the Soul Whispers Oracle Deck and the Fallback Oracle Deck. Um, this one was actually gifted to me by the creator. I'm super grateful. I love both of these decks so much and I thought I would use these for messages from your higher self. So the first message that we have is, ooh, that glare. It actually looks pretty cool though because it's gold and shiny. We're all just trying to get back to where we came from. There's the number 30 on this card, so the number 30 or the number 3 could be significant to you guys, like repeating 3s, for example. Um, this will be the way that your higher self lets you know that you're on the right path. With this message of getting back to where you came from, there's a feeling of your soul going home, feeling very comfortable with where you are, and feeling very comfortable with what you're doing and with who you are. We have trust the weight. Just when the caterpillar thought her life was over, she began to fly. Embrace the uncertainty. When nothing is certain, anything is possible. You are transforming. Yeah, that reminds me of the message with the chain. Trust the process, have faith. If you're in a sticky situation, spirit has already figured out the way out and it's just a matter of going along the chain to get there and you are already on this chain. So keep going where you're going, keep doing what you're doing and you will make it home. You'll make it to where you wanna be. And yeah, <laughs> the final message for you guys is connect with others, host a movie night or have a slumber party, surround yourself with loving, energy this is what this is what this month of august is all about being surrounded by love and closing off anything that that wasn't real pure love this is what your guides want you to feel this month just love it's it's plain and simple all right so those are all the messages that i have for you guys so i'm gonna end the reading here Thank you very, very much for letting me do this reading for you. I hope you have a wonderful day or night whenever you're watching, and I wish you all the best. Please take good care of yourself. Stay healthy. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe if you feel like doing that. I also have a Patreon, so if you guys are interested in seeing even more exclusive pick a cards where you get to choose the topic, that will be linked down below too. I'm sending you guys lots of love, and I will see you in the next one. Bye-bye! Hi number threes, so if you guys chose the Honey Calcite, this is going to be a reading all about your month of August 2021. I just love how the light reflects off of this one. Isn't that so pretty? All right, so I'm gonna start off this reading with an oracle card and this card is going to represent the main theme for your month of August or the general overall energy. So the first message that we have for you is child and the message says, you care deeply about children and they readily respond to your love. All children, including your own inner child, require love, affection, and attention. We can clear and open your heart and schedule so that you can give more time and energy to the children who need you. So this of course can be about actual children in your life or this can be a more abstract message about your inner child. There is just one thing I wanna point out before I get into the interpretation of this message and that is the image here. This is just calling out to me so much. There's this angel who is lovingly caressing this little child. The child is sitting on her lap. Your angels are showing this image because they want you to know how loved and protected you are and they kind of see you as this sweet little baby and I think what I mean by that is that you are so innocent and you are so pure your angels want you to know that they have infinite patience and understanding for you and they will always be there for you. They will never judge you. They will never, you know, see you as bad or evil or impure. What 
whatever your past might be, you are pure to them. That's what I really wanted to say with this image. They just love you so much. Um, okay, so let's get into interpreting this message now. I will start with the more literal interpretation of children. It could be that you guys are working with children in the month of August or you are spending more time around them. Um, for a very small few of you, it could be that there is a new child that is being welcomed into your family, whether that is your own or the child of a friend or a relative. There could be a new addition to your family or you could be meeting your friends or relatives' children and just spending more time around them. Um, but in the more abstract interpretation, this does have to do with your inner child. So this may be a month where your inner child is being healed. So working through wounds from your childhood, um, looking within and asking your inner child what they need from you to be happy and fulfilled, um, as well as the more fun side of letting your inner child out which is enjoying things that you love without worrying about how good you are at them or what other people think about them or where it's going to take you in the future just being in the moment and basking in that pleasure of doing something that is fun remember when you were little and you would just play for hours and you had all these dreams about what you wanted to be and you didn't question them you just enjoyed the daydreaming and you enjoyed the fantasy this can be about your childlike wonder coming back into your life so i think this is a really really sweet card and this final message about clearing your heart and your schedule so that you can give more time to the children who need you this can very much be talking about your inner child so clearing your schedule to have more time for yourself and more time to do things that you love if you think about a child a child doesn't really have that many responsibilities that's more of an adult thing um, so this could be making time for yourself where you don't have to answer to anyone you don't have to tend to anything and your only job is just to rest or to play or to do whatever makes you happy in that moment think of the pure and simple life of a child that's basically what I see here and that's the energy that your angels want you to get into in this coming month of August all right so let's move on now to our tea leaf cards and these are going to represent specific events in the month of august they could be things for you to look forward to or things for you to look out for and the first message that we have is goldfish increase in material wealth or spiritual growth this card does say or but if you guys want to claim it as and please feel free to do that. Increase in material wealth and an increase in spiritual growth. This is what is coming to you. The goldfish is a symbol of abundance and having all of the resources that you need. So there could be some money coming in for you guys or you will be increasing in your material possessions. Maybe you're getting the tools or the equipment that you need to work towards a project, to work towards your goals, or you could just be getting some possessions that make you happy, getting some new clothes, getting some new crystals, enjoying, enjoying material possessions. When it comes to spiritual growth, I'm not sure yet. We will look further into the reading to see what kind of spiritual growth is coming to you. But um, actually, let's see what we have next and see if we can get more information about it. We have the ear with good news and right away this actually made me think of Claire audience. So this could be a gift that you guys are increasing in the month of August. This can mean that you guys will start to receive messages through music, through lyrics in songs, or through words that you overhear people speaking. And it can also mean that you are actually hearing the voices of angels or you're hearing voices of beings in higher dimensions. And then of course the literal message of this card which is good news that is coming to you maybe this is good news regarding your career could also be good news regarding an addition to the family if that was resonating with you and then we have grasshopper situations in the balance that require careful handling so i like to kind of see how all three of these cards go together and if i think back to the goldfish you guys are getting more material wealth and you're getting more spiritual abilities so I feel like this grasshopper card is showing you guys like figuring out how to handle your new blessings. 
So maybe you just got a ton of money in August and now you have to figure out like, how am I gonna save it? Or do I wanna invest this? Do I wanna spend it? I have to make sure I don't you know, waste it all or spend it all in one place. Like, I don't know what to do with all of this extra money. So you have to find the balance and figure out how you can enjoy it, but also like save it for a rainy day. And then with your spiritual abilities, these also require careful handling and these also require time to get used to them. Sometimes when people are having an awakening of their psychic abilities, it can be a little bit um, overwhelming, especially if you can't turn it off. And I'm thinking for those of you who have clear audience abilities, you could be like, and maybe this sounds a little bit scary, but maybe you could be hearing voices of spirits talking to you while you are trying to sleep or you know when you're in that half asleep state and it can be a little bit um alarming or it can be a little bit disturbing if you're trying to rest um especially you know if through your day-to-day -day life you're just getting a ton of intuitive hits and sensing beings are trying to talk to you when you're just trying to you know be in the 3d and focus on the task at hand it can get to be a little bit much so Maybe this is what the grasshopper is talking about. You guys figuring out how to handle all of this extra stuff that is coming to you and sort of keep the messages at bay so that they are not disturbing you. Figuring out how to turn that on and off. Grounding or earthing I think could be really good for you guys. Putting your bare feet in the ground. This will bring you back into the 3D, bring you back into your roots so that you're not flying all up in the clouds. Um, yeah, that's the one that's specifically coming to me for you guys, being out in nature, especially because we have two animals here. So if you guys feel like the psychic abilities are getting to be too much, being out in nature and especially having your feet on the ground is going to be um, helpful for you. All right, so this concludes the general overview part of your month of August. So now let's move on to the specific areas of your life. So as you can see, I have one tarot card and one oracle card each for the three specific areas of love and relationships, career and studies, and spiritual and personal growth. So we are gonna start off with the love portion and let's see what messages we have for you for August. So for your tarot card, we have the Knight of Swords. And for your Oracle card, we have Release. All right, um, there's a few ways that I can interpret this. First of all, this will be for those of you who have recently gone through a breakup or recently gone through a separation of sorts. Now, this section of the reading it's about relationships of any kind. So it could be a romantic breakup, it could be a friend breakup, somebody that you have distanced yourself from or cut out of your life. And it's still kind of weighing on you. Maybe you still feel sad or a longing for this person, like you're missing them. And what I think with these cards is that August could be the month where you guys are really moving on and truly getting over this person. The Knight of Swords is like, something moving very fast and it could also be a little bit suddenly and so with both of these cards I'm kind of getting the feeling of maybe you guys were very weighed down held back by your longing for this person and all of a sudden in August you're just whoosh you're moving right on from them and really to the point where you feel good and you can think about them without being sad or even you are not thinking about them anymore so oh and even if this person is still in your life but you have been considering to let go of them kind of a similar interpretation this could be the month where you finally rip off that band-aid and do it like you're finally releasing this person you're finally moving on you're finally free from them and this will happen very quickly in the month of august so even if this is something that has been dragged out for a long time like you've been debating what you should do for a long time or you've been sad about this person for a long time i see very very quick recovery and quick progress in the month of august for you guys and the reason for that i think 
When I look at this card, this actually reminds me a lot of the Fool because the knight is at the edge of the cliff and about to jump into this magical portal. So this makes me think of exciting new beginnings, exciting new opportunities. Um, I think in the month of August, there is some good news coming to you. There's some exciting new opportunity or new chapter starting in your life. Um, and you're gonna be so busy in that and also enjoying yourself so much being so happy, you're getting back in touch with yourself that I think you're just, this person is just naturally going to fall away from your thoughts because you're so happy and active and occupied with what you're doing that your, your mind just doesn't even go there. Your mind just doesn't even go to that person. Um, okay, so now a different interpretation for those of you who are not letting go of anybody meaning that there hasn't been any breakup in your recent past there's also nobody in your life that you would be considering to cut off then this would be ooh, sirens this would be a little bit of a different interpretation um i still would like you guys to claim the message of the exciting new beginning and the beautiful new chapter that is coming to you but in the case that you're not actually releasing a person, this can also be releasing words or messages because very often with the Knight of Swords, I do see some big communication coming in quickly or suddenly. And it's interesting how these go together because it kind of looks like this person is uh, throwing up and I think of the expression of word vomit where you're just like you're just like blurting everything out getting everything off your chest and saying what you want to say um, and with you know the message of the knight of swords being about communication that's what swords are about and very fast motion that's kind of the feeling that I'm getting when I put them together so somebody is coming forward somebody is reaching out to you and they're spilling their guts of all of their thoughts and all of their feelings so this could be like your significant other if you have one or your current love interest if you have one this could also be it could even be a platonic relationship but it's like somebody has been thinking about you a lot and somebody has a lot that they want to say to you but maybe they've been shy or nervous to say it to you like all of the ways they feel about you and all of the things that they have been um, thinking about you maybe they don't know how you're going to react or they are just the shy type but something in the month of august is causing them to come forward to you and spill it all out and funnily too this kind of looks like a wine glass so could be that the person is like a little bit tipsy and then they send you a really long text message or they call you because their inhibitions are gone and so they can say everything that they want to say to you so this could be like a breakthrough of communication and understanding how this person um, feels toward you and everything is getting out in the open this could be a positive thing like they're getting everything off their chest of how much they care about you and what they wanted to tell you. Or if there's been a little bit of tension in the relationship, this could be, you know, putting out there everything that has been bothering you. But either way, I do see it as a positive thing for the relationship, that everything you've been thinking is out in the open so that you guys can deal with it and so that you guys know how to move forward together. But everything is going to be exposed at this time and then you can move into a better direction together you can start a new better more beautiful chapter where you know each other more all right so now let's take a look at your career and studies so for your tarot card we have the ace of wands which is super exciting and also interesting because we were just talking about the new beginning in this knight of swords card this portal made me think of someone taking a leap of faith into a new beginning so maybe this is a new beginning in your career and then <laughs> for your oracle card we have begin so yeah definitely definitely you have an ace and you have the message of begin so my group threes there is absolutely some new beginning that is coming for you in your career or in your studies 
So this could be a new job, a new position, a new location, a new school, a new field of study. Something is new, absolutely, for you guys. Um, I do want to talk about the nature of the Ace of Wands. Of course, there are four aces in tarot, and they all have to do with new beginnings. But when it comes to the Ace of Wands, this is a new beginning that brings a lot of excitement into your life, and it brings a lot of passion. Whatever new thing it is that you guys are starting here, you are really going to love what you're doing. It's going to be very fun and enjoyable for you. And because of that, this is going to raise your motivation. It's going to raise your enthusiasm, raise your productivity. Um, and what was I going to say? Oh, yes. Overall, it's going to raise your energy level. So if you guys have been the type in the past where it's really hard to like roll out of bed and get yourself to work or get yourself to school, maybe you need a lot of, you need to give yourself a lot of breaks to get your work done, or you need some kind of stimulants to get your work done. Um, I feel like this is gonna be shifting where you guys are, and maybe this sounds a little cheesy, but it's like, you're just high on life. <laughs> you love what you're doing so much, and you like roll out of bed with a smile on your face. Um, I'm, I'm thinking of, oh my gosh, is it is the song called like My Head and My Heart? You know that song that goes like You know the one. Um, <laughs> there's a music video where they show like the head person going through a day in their life and the heart person going through a day in their life and the heart person is like super it's very um exaggerated but you know he jumps out of bed at 6 a.m with like the biggest smile on his face and he eats a healthy breakfast and he's like skipping to work and greeting all the people and everyone at work loves him because he's so cheerful this is like how you guys are going to be in the month of august with your work or with your school like you actually can't wait to go, you're excited to go and you love what you do. That's why I feel with the Ace of Wands. It's like this surge of passion. It's this surge of energy and I just, I love to see it. Um, also, the Ace of Wands for me, it, it makes me feel like you are in touch with your higher self. Like your higher self is really coming through and really living through you. The Ace of Wands is also about intuition and you know sudden urges or gut feelings that you're getting so this new beginning that you guys are bringing about in your career or studies it could just be some gut feeling that you guys have maybe you actually hear your higher self speak it to you like this is what i want to do with my career this is what i need to change this is the new beginning i need to have and it may feel sudden but it feels so right in your gut and you go for it. It's like, wands is like our instinct. It's our instinct, it's our intuition, it's that spark. So it will just feel right. Something will just click in the month of August and you'll know which way to go. But this is really exciting and beautiful energy. And I also wanna point out that the star in the middle of this begin card, it is, um, it has eight points on it. And this is the same as the star in tarot. It's an eight point star. So if I can draw some parallels from that card, that talks about a bright and exciting and beautiful future too. So whatever new chapter you guys are starting here in August, the future is bright. It's an idea directly from your higher self. Maybe it's actually something that you loved to do as a child or that lets you be more playful and creative like a child. And this is something that will make you happy for a long time into the future. You're definitely on the right path here. All right, so finally, we're gonna take a look at your spiritual and personal growth. Oh, so for your tarot card, you have the lovers, and I just love this image so much. This is actually, I think this is the first time I've seen this one, but it's so pretty. Um, this is Gemini energy, in case that is relevant to you guys, and we also had some air sign energy here. And for your oracle card, we have movement. So usually I feel like when I do this section of the reading, I'm talking about like what kind of growth you need to go through or like guidance of what you should be working on. The vibe that I'm getting more from this part of the reading for you guys is 
your angels being proud of you for the growth that you have done. And again, I'm going back to this image because your angels just want you to know how much they love you and how proud of you they are. I think you guys have already grown a lot and this movement card is making me think of progress that you guys have made. Um, when it comes to the lovers, this is about good relationships, good health. It's about harmony and balance in your life with the number six here. It's about peace of mind, unconditional love. And what I think is really sweet about the image on this deck is that the two people who are embracing each other, they look very, very similar. So I'm almost thinking it, thinking of it as you guys like embracing yourself and cradling yourself. And the camera timer just said 22, 22. So maybe that's a confirmation that this is what this is. You guys are really coming to embrace yourself and nurture yourself and care for yourself. And this is going to create really beautiful connections in your life. The lovers is of course about relationships with others. So I think what I'm seeing here is that as the relationship with yourself improves, your relationship with others improves, your mental and physical health improves, and it just brings this overall peace and harmony into your life. And this movement card, it's definitely a nod to all of the progress that you guys have made in this respect, but also letting you know that things are still moving, things are still getting better, and you guys are 100% on the right path here. So this is just your angel saying they're really proud of you, <laughs> really proud of you of all of the work that you've done on yourself. They want to confirm to you that this is gonna bring wonderful connections into your life. And the lovers is also about the decisions you make. And I think your angels really are proud of the decisions that you've made you know, to go forward and to prioritize your happiness and to communicate more with the people in your life and to just embrace yourself. It's really beautiful. Oh, um, okay. So just before we finish this reading, um, there are some final Oracle cards that I want to look at, and these are going to be messages from your higher self. This is from the Soul Whispers Oracle deck. This is from the Fall Back Oracle deck. I love both of these decks so much. This was actually gifted to me by the creator of the deck, which I'm very, very grateful for. Um, but yes, these are going to be the closing words from your higher self, whatever they would like you to know for this month of August. So first message for you is, there is no beginning or end to growth. You are forever expanding. There's the number... 12 on this card so the number 12 could be important to you guys or the number three if you add up those digits these could be numbers that your higher self shows you to let you know that you are on the right path and actually i didn't say this for the other piles but i'm feeling called to say it for this one the 12th of the month or the third of the month could be important somehow we also have, I am safe in my arms. I care for myself like no one else. And isn't that amazing how these match so well? Like this is exactly, this message is exactly what I see when I look at this lover's card. I'm safe in my arms. I care for myself like no one else. Ah, it's so beautiful. Um, with this message of there is no beginning or end to growth, you are forever expanding. Um, there's a message in here for me to be happy with where you are at any given moment and to not put your happiness at a certain destination, especially when it comes to like, I need to do more healing, I need to do more shadow work, and then I can live out my blessings. There's not like a finite destination for our growth and our healing. And this is something that I do hear sometimes. Like people ask, how do I know when my healing is done or like how do I know when I've done enough shadow work and it's not really like that it's not like okay you need to do this work okay now you're done <laughs> it's it's something that is continual in our life because as we live and as we learn we face more challenges we make mistakes we get hurt it's a continual learning process and we're gonna keep healing and keep doing our shadow work and keep growing as we go along and there's no end to it. Even death is not the end of it because you will incarnate again and keep growing. So there's no rush to get to this end of your healing and growth. 
or to say like I'm gonna be confident and happy once I get here because there's always gonna be some point in front of that so just enjoy where you are now enjoy yourself for all of your imperfections for all of your perceived flaws for all of your progress whether it's where you thought you would be or not be proud of it be proud of where you are you are forever expanding and the next or final card for you guys is don't complicate it the truth is simple you already have the answers accept people and situations exactly as they are it will bring you clarity and peace so this might be a message about your relationships i'm thinking of those of you who may have just let go of somebody who are, who or who are thinking of letting somebody go whether it be a romantic or a platonic situation um seeing people for exactly as they are taking their words and actions at face value and seeing them for who they are right now and not what you think they potentially could be in the future believing them when they show themselves to you this could maybe help you make your decisions here and for your existing connections this could be showing you guys coming to a place where you are really accepting each other as you are you're really hearing each other out and improving communication making things more simple in your relationships where you're not doing guessing work and you're not projecting how things might be in the future but just taking them as they are right here right now this is going to take a lot of stress off of you guys just deal with what is right here right now yes Okay, so those are all of the messages I have for you guys. I'm going to end the reading here. Thank you very, very much for letting me do this reading for you. I hope you have a wonderful day or night whenever you're watching, and I wish you all the best. Please take good care of yourself. Stay healthy. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe if you feel like doing that. I also have a Patreon, so if you guys are interested in seeing even more exclusive pick-up cards where you get to choose the topic, that will be linked down below too. I'm sending you guys lots of love, and I will see you in the next one. Bye-bye!